That's a busy little studio, as you can see, John has joined <laughs> us, and so is one of the weekend's sporting heroes, Sheffield boxer Kel Brook, alongside his trainer Dominic Ingle. Well, Kel has maintained his unbeaten record on Saturday night by outclassing Matthew Hatton in the so-called War of the Roses at the Sheffield Arena. Gentlemen, welcome to the programme. Thank you so much for coming and seeing us, and many congratulations. You made it look so easy. Was it as easy as it looked? Yeah, we were, were comfortable in there, you know, Matthew Hatton. It was a great, great fight, War of the Roses, mm -hmm. one v number two, and uh, I think it come off very well. Not a scratch on you. Not too many. <laughs> Not too, still pretty. Still pretty. <laughs> a broken nose for poor Mr. Hatton, though. Yeah, mm. he said that uh, he suffered broke broke his nose in the first round, but what a gallant effort from you know he did another eleven rounds after that, so. You know, he proved them that he's very tough. Take your cap off to him. Mm. Oh, definitely. Tell yeah. me, were you surprised how easy it was? Yeah, I mean, Kel, the thing is, we kill people, look at him and think, you know, he's beating these guys dead easy. The, the guys he's fighting must be, you know, not very good. But he does, he, he, he gets some work tight in the first couple of rounds. And if you notice in the fight, you know, he cruised through the fight. When Matthew Atten threw some decent shots at him, Kel came back with three or four good ones every time and jumped straight back on him and put him back in his place. He plucked up a bit more courage and came at Kel again and Kel jumped on him again and put him back in his place. And that's how the fight went. You've really got to push Kel to get the best out of him. And I still don't think we've got the best out of him yet. He did actually hit you a few times, didn't he? <laughs> He did hit me a few times, yeah, but I stood up to it, you know, good chin on me. Mm -hmm. <coughs> very, very good fight, very good fight, you know, it was very intense with 10,000 people there. What a fantastic atmosphere there must have been in that arena on Saturday night. Unbelievable, the fans, look, they just... <laughs> Yeah. And they used to say that you couldn't sell a ticket in Sheffield. I mean, that is the first time, I know you're only 25, that's the first time you've boxed in Sheffield for quite some time. Yeah, um, 18 the last time, but since being back with Edda, I've boxed there twice, you know, and packed it out. And now at the big arena, 10,000, it was just intense walk, walking out in front of them. Well, I'll tell you what, bigger things to come. You're after Amir Khan now, aren't you? Yeah, ideally. You know, that would be the, the perfect fight. You know, it's been going on for a bit about me and him and I think it's time to, to get it on. Mm -hmm. How far can he go, Dominic? Yeah, I'm saying, you know, Kel's he's been in the gym since he was nine years old. He's got the talent. You know, we've had Nazim Hamid and we always said the next one to come along would in that kind of mold would be Kel Brook if he managed to keep on top of his game and he has. You know, it took Nazim Hamid, Chris Eubanks and uh, Joe Calzaghi to sell out Sheffield Arena. You know, three big names. Kel did it on himself. So you're looking at that and thinking, you know, he's got everything where it takes. He's got the special K effect, as we like to say. So, you know, I think within the next 10 to 12 months, definitely world champion. And do you have the K effect on the new family? <laughs> oh, got my daughter, Anna now. Because uh, a new addition to the family, so uh, yep. she's good as gold. She's good as gold now. I think me and family now are gonna gonna go away uh, to Grand Canaria for a, for a week and, and really chill. really chill and bond. Mm -hmm. I think you deserve it. it. <laughs> Fantastic. Many congratulations once again, and thanks Thank very you. much for coming and seeing us. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Now this is good news for boxing in Yorkshire because Sheffield boxer Kel Brook continued his progress towards a shot at a world title with a remarkably convincing win over the experienced and pretty tough cookie Matthew Hatton. All three judges scored heavily in his favour as he won every one of the 12 rounds in front of 10,000 people in his home city. He could now get a world title fight this year. I'm delighted to say that Kel and his trainer Dominic Ingle are with us now. I have to say, somebody texted me to say they were so excited about Look North tonight that Kelly Brook was here, but that's not the case. I have to say... I'm not disappointed <laughs> in you, Kel, because yeah. I was there <laughs> and it was... <laughs> Listen, you two, this is boxing we're talking about. <laughs> Take it seriously. I know you do. When you came out, 10,000 people in the arena, standing, did it just hit you, that emotion, that wall of sound? Just hit me, that intensity. Just look round and seeing everyone, it was just unbelievable feeling walking out to all them. Again, and I, sorry Harry, because I've got one camera over here and I've just told the director, let's have a look at you, let's have a look. Got a little mark on the eye. All you've got really is a bit of a dark eye, you know, he didn't get anywhere near you, did he? Not, not too much, tried to uh, duck and weed my way through it, but yeah, we're very, very tough customer, very tough customer that uh, Matthew Atten. Uh, everyone said Domi won it every single round. Is that the way that you saw it as well? Yeah, I think maybe um, he might have probably drawn a round at one of them. And uh, I think it might have been the round when Matthew poked him in the eye with the thumb. I think that was his best his best shot. <laughs> but, um, you know, he doesn't usually get marked up. 
But yeah, he, he totally outclassed the guy. He put in a fantastic performance. And, you know, we're still getting the same old comments again. You know, these guys are too easy with fighting. They're not good enough. <laughs> oh, no, he's tough. He's Matthew Hatton. He was never going to give up. I mean, let's have a look now. You really did dominate um, right from the start. <laughs> but when you put him down, he got up. And we were saying, how on earth has he got up from that kind of punch? He got up. <clears throat> he did get up. And he continued to fight for another three rounds. You've got to take your off. I have to, mate. You know, we're in the 50th fight. He knows his way around that ring. Uh, he's uh, as tough as old boots, as they say. Now, I think one of the things, of course, that you've got to sort of look at these days is that boxing's had a bit of a bad uh, run-in over the last few weeks, hasn't it? But at this level, you're seeing it at its, at its best level, aren't yeah, you, really? Yeah, fantastic performance on Saturday Night by Kell, and, you know, 10,000 people came out to watch it, and you don't usually get that for boxing. You know, the last time that happened, we had Nazim Hamid and Joe Calzeg and Chris Eubanks in Sheffield. Um, you know, we had three big names on that bill, and it filled the arena. This time, did it with Kell Brook. So he's becoming, you know, a name in his own right, and it's, 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 it's covered, you know, it's glossed over the trouble with Chisor and Klitschko in Germany and boxing, you know, leave all the fighting in the ring. Yeah, I mean, I have to say, Kel, is that, you know, you sold those seats pretty quickly. You could sell more. How many could you sell for the Amir Khan fight? That's the one you want. Yeah, I think 40, 50,000, I think, with that, because everyone's been talking about me and Amir Khan. That's been going on for years. It's crying out now, I think, the time has come. Where would you have that kind of a fight then? I don't, I don't know where, I think where one would you of the, One of the stadiums in Sheffield, one of the football grounds, I think, who could accommodate mm. his best. Maybe yeah, Bramall Lane. Think, yeah, Bramall Lane or Hillsborough, I think that'd be a, a fantastic uh, venue for it to happen. In, you know, but it, will it happen? It, yeah, there's every possibility. Money talks, you know, Eddie earns his promoters, they've got plenty of money. And uh, I think they could throw some money at that fight and make that fight happen. It makes well, sense. Nice to talk to you. Never look so lovely, Kelly. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh,